Okay, so I have not played chess in a long time. And I'm just going to pick it back up with ah, with renewed interest. So here I am. I'm going to play a 15-17 player in a 10-minute game. Um, should, should be good because whew, I haven't played in a while. So I was up to about 17.50. Uh, he went away. I really don't want to play anything shorter than five minutes. But I want to play anyone that highly rated. I just want to... Okay, so this could end up being quite a long game, but probably won't. So here we go. It's been a long time. Uh, I really only play e4 with white. That's not to say I don't know other openings. And I, I know a little bit of what to do from the black side if someone doesn't play e4. But with white, I like to play e4. So I don't know what he just played, though. So I'm, I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. I played d4 just to take some space. It looks like, you know, it's free space. Um, yeah, so I feel like I could win a tempo on his bishop if I just play uh, d5. Because the bishop can't advance anymore. It's got to go back in. So I'm thinking why not? It seems a little weird, but I mean, it's a free tempo this early on. It's a big deal. Yeah, so, you know, not, not a bad start. So what to develop first? I'm looking at my two knights, and I'm really not sure what to do. I could also develop the bishop. Um, what's his next move? Let's think about that. He's got to move this pawn. So if he moves it two spaces, um, moves it just one. No, I might just take more space. It looks it looks weird, but I might. That way, I'm thinking I can maintain these two center pawns easier. So now I'll um. Try, try to strengthen these two pawns with this knight. Now, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do. I'm just trying to explain my thought processes yeah, for what they're worth. He could take uh, double my pawns, but it, it gives my rook. I can move the rook to b1 with the tempo. So I'm not really worried about that trade at all. It gives me the bishop pair, too. So, um... I'm going to develop this really calmly. I don't want to like, I'm not going to bring it way out here. There's just no need. Maybe this would have been better. I really don't know. So he now blocks the site. I wish I could put something on that diagonal. If I hadn't played this bishop move, I could put my queen here. Pinning his knight. Hello. Hello. I'm making a, a chess video. Hi. Yes. Sorry. It's okay. It's fine. Where'd he go? Okay, he castled. Uh, so, this is starting to look a bit like the Grand Prix system, where I play queen e1, queen out to here, um, and when I play f5, the attack starts because my bishop can come out, and the knight usually gets to g5. It's really fun. So... Yeah, from what little I know of being able to analyze positions, it looks like I'm definitely winning in just because of how much space I have. So there's this move. I think I'll just trade on this square. Doesn't matter to me. And um, maybe bring my rook over once, it's, once the dust settles. Um, in the meantime, not sure how to improve my position. Um, maybe, oh no, because queen needs to come to e1 uh, in the Grand Prix attack. Yeah. Oh well. I guess everything's more better defended, I guess, now. You see how certain I seem. Um, 
Okay. He's lashing out because he wants space. I think I just play bishop here, and he doesn't get what he wants. I don't want to trade. I don't want to take on Passant. I don't want to let this pawn advance. And there he goes again. I'm pretty sure that's a for free uh, pawn. It's defended once, attacked twice. Um, I've won some material, I think. Which do I take with? I'd like to keep my bishop pair. But the knight here could come here, and this square is undefended. But once the bishop moves, it won't be undefended. So maybe that's not that good. Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes. He's not going to take, though. Maybe he is. Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes. I, I, I don't want the bishop, because I don't know what the bishop would be doing here. Best thing would be to bring it back, where at least the knight... It's not immediately attacking anything, but it's an annoying place. So, I'll keep the knight here. Okay, yeah, see, I can bring this pawn up. Okay, there's a discovered check, though. That is annoying. I can't... <laughs> wow, okay. I think I messed myself up. Um, not badly, of course, but kind of. No, this, this play. There's no discovered check now, and the knight's defended. Okay. Um, I oversaw that. I mean, I missed that with the king on this diagonal, but it's all right. So my gut reaction is to put my bishop on this diagonal, the same as his queen, just because it looks nice but I'm not even sure how much that would do for me. I think I might have a better idea of taking on e6, and then what I have is two pieces on the d6 pawn with my queen now attacking it and the knight. Of course, that opens things up, but I kind of like it. Maybe put my bishop on the diagonal first so his queen is tied down to the defense of that pawn. Okay, he defends it with the knight. Hmm, where does he want to go? Obviously, b4 is a good square for his knight. I might just slow that down. Yeah, just a prophylactic move. Okay, he was maneuvering it. Mm. Okay, I'm going for this. Of course, I'm not certain about it, but I think I just calculated and I end up with a pawn. Because if he takes with a knight, I recapture with the pawn, he has to take with his queen, my queen takes here because this pawn's now undefended because his queen is here. If he takes the pawn, then I get this one. At least so I thought. So do I go for that? This pawn would then be weak. I could bring the bishop in to attack it. He could pin me with his rook as soon as I do this. Okay, I'll go with a queen. That way we, we can just trade. Maybe I shouldn't be taking the queens off, but I didn't want the pin. And I didn't want to lose the pawn. Hmm... Because let's say we trade rook here or rook here, the position's kind of lame. Not as good. Not as good as it was. I liked it a lot. But I missed that. The rook. I mean, he still has all his pieces, that's the thing. 
I'm not up in mini material. There's this simple pawn move too. That actually is looking really strong. Because where does the knight go? It can come here. Okay, he traded. See, I shouldn't have done this. Um, I mean, it's fine. Okay, well, my instinct was to play this pawn move because it solves my immediate problem, defending the knight. And it helps me um, by attacking this knight, of course. Eh, maybe I'll just get the... I think this is good. This pawn is now threatening to become a passed pawn if there are any trades on this square. Like a few minute. Okay, I thought it might come here. Not sure what that does for him, but I thought he might do it anyway. Yep, so where can the knight come now? I don't see any great squares. With the queens off, I'm not afraid to make this move. Yeah. Do I just shove the knight in his face? It's definitely an idea. I mean the pawn in his face. I also don't need to forget about my bishop. I need to get my other rook in play. Uh, what's the plan here? I have a majority in pawns on this side. Maybe I just attack this pawn. It's defended by the knight. I'm going to do it anyway so that I can bring my rook into play. Okay, um, I did not mean to move, I was just playing around with it, uh, I was just thinking of it. Yeah, I did not mean to do that, I lose a pawn, okay, whatever, didn't mean to. What's he even considering? Okay, that. Well, I think that was a horrible move. I mean, I'm the guy who just made a pretty bad move, but I can't just attack it because he'll just take. I think it was a bad move because he let me keep my pass pawn. And now my whole position just fell apart, but not really. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, so the reason things are looking better right now is because both my rooks are doing something and one of his is just sitting there. So if he brings, I don't think that was right him. I think this is a free pawn. Well, we trade pawns. Can't I just play this? What does he do? He takes my bishop, I queen. I get his rook. Um, still have six minutes, plenty of time. If I take he can take either of these two pawns. But then I... Hmm. I have connected past pawns here. That's huge. Maybe I just counterattack. Then he just takes a pawn. 
That's annoying. No, he doesn't. Huh. I like this. This rook needs to stay. Uh, okay. <sighs> that was wrong. Made the wrong move. Uh, I got rushed. So... What to do about this pawn? It seems dead. Okay, this saves it, at least for now. Attacking the rook, he can't just take my pawn. Needed to activate my knight a while ago. That was just the wrong move to take on a7. Wish I had a bishop to put right here. Okay. Okay, what are his options? Moving the rook. Defending? No, he's got to move the rook. So let's say the rook comes here, attacking both. I think I can bring the knight. Mm, of course not. Rook here. I don't see an answer. Rook here, pawn advances, rook blocks, bishop here. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, it's really lucky for me that I have a dark square bishop and my pawn's queen square is a dark square. Because I didn't foresee that, but that's actually really nice. Yep, he plays that move. Um, I was thinking I would just play this. Which I should have done forever ago. So the thing is, he can t he can have the pawn, but if he takes it, I win a rook. Um, only way to stop it from queening is well. Okay, he can take my bishop, and then I'm just winning the exchange. Yep, I didn't really think of that. But this comes with check. I've got two rooks. This pawn is a goner. So, um, I can't play rook here because his bishop will just take. I would love to play that move. So, logic here is whichever one he takes with, he'll lose. We trade. I mean, he can still take with the bishop. Bishops are better than knights at this stage of the game. So I'll take it. Okay.
this is the move I wanted to play. I'm not afraid of this check. See, the thing is, if I get my rook here, there's no way he can defend this square again. So he plays a check, I move either here or here. And Well, we'll see. Okay, he's Craig Gray. He can have it, I guess. Yep, not much I can do. So, he now has three pawns. Well, two pawns. Two pawn lead. There's no way he can stop me from taking this pawn. He doesn't even have, well, he has a check. He has one check. Okay, so I get the pawn. Should I take it? And if I do, I should take it with this one. Because now I have the next pawn guaranteed. I see check here no more checks yep I think I won yep that doesn't do anything I think I want to take One move. If I check, hmm. I could check here. He can't double defend this. I'll get it eventually. He has one check, but it doesn't even work. Okay. I don't want to get mated. Let me think. If he plays anything that he has here, he doesn't have any checks. Okay, I'm not worried. Oh, he does once I move this. That's what I was worried about. He comes here, I come back. I didn't think of that. I know I've got to be winning. Hmm. Okay, either move it or defend it. King needs to come here. It can't move away.
Okay, I think I just got it with that. I mean, of course I've already got it, but it's kind of confusing. King, um, yeah, now it's over. Whew. Get crisscrossed. Yep, not gonna work. He has to go back. <laughs> bah. Ugh, that was way harder than it needed to be. But there we go. First game back. At least I won. Long video, but thanks for watching.